The first step in drilling a well is called spudding in. This involves forcing 300 to 400 feet of 36 inch diameter metal tubing called casing into the ground to form the backbone of the well and provide the support we'll need for the remaining phases in our drilling plan. The 36 inch casing is lowered to the seafloor by drill pipe. Each section of drill pipe is anywhere from 30 to 45 feet long and about 6 inches in diameter. The drill pipe is connected end to end and gradually lowered down into the well and back up to the surface as needed. To help speed up the time required connecting multiple sections of drill pipe together, whenever you need to lower a drill bit, casing or other piece of equipment into the well, the drill pipe is stored in the derrick three or four sections at a time. This is known as a stand. In most cases, pumping seawater through the end of the casing using the ship's massive pumps will provide sufficient force for the pipe to settle. If this is not possible, some rigs use giant hammers to pound the casing to the desired depth. With our casing in place, we unlatch the drill pipe and return it to the surface so that we can move on to the next step of our drilling program. The next step is to lower a drill bit down inside the 36 inch casing. This time we'll drill a hole large enough to take a 22 inch casing 2,000 to 3,000 feet into the ground. The drill bit is connected to the drill pipe, which runs all the way back to the drill ship at the surface. As the bit is rotated in the well bore, high pressure drilling fluids, called mud, are pumped down the centre of the drill pipe and out through nozzles in the drilling bit. As the drill bit cuts away at the rock formations, the drilling fluid ensures that debris is removed from the foot of the well lubricates and cools the drill bit, in addition to helping maintain the well integrity. With the target depth achieved, the drill string is removed and the 22-inch casing can be lowered into the hole. Guided into position by remotely operated vehicles, ROVs for short. Once both sections of casing are in place, the well is secured by pumping cement down the drill pipe and out through a special nozzle on the end. The cement works its way back up to fill the recess between the casing and the drilled hole. This creates a solid barrier to protect the well and prevent it collapsing during the next phase of drilling. Formations in the ground are under tremendous pressure. To control the well and prevent the pressure escaping, a large underwater control valve, called a blowout preventer, or BOP, is placed on top of the wellhead. The BOP is rigidly connected to the drilling vessel by way of a marine riser. Drill pipe can be lowered down through the marine riser, through the BOP, into the wellhead and then down into the well to drill deeper into the ground. The remaining sections of the well are drilled the same way as the casing in the earlier step. The drill crews will drill deeper into the ground so that the next section of casing can be run and cemented into place. Each drill string will get progressively narrower, down to as little as 8 inches. Originally, wells were drilled vertically, but today's technology allows us to literally steer the drill bit in any direction. Most modern wells start vertically, but then curve to horizontal, or a lateral well. Once the geologists are happy with the location of the well, a series of tests, called logs, will be conducted to determine how much oil and gas is present in the formation. This is accomplished by sending high-tech measurement devices into the hole that can detect various features of the formation. 
This process is called logging because the information is logged into a database as it is collected. We are now in the completion phase. This is the process in which the well is enabled to produce oil or gas. In a cased hole completion, small holes called perforations are made in the portion of the casing within the production zone. This allows the oil to flow from the surrounding rock into the production tubing. With the well drilled, secured and ready for production, our drill ship can set sail for the next site, ready to start the process all over again.